Hey everybody, welcome back to the 509. We're working on this uh, bit of flashing for one of our clients and he has to turn a corner. This is gonna actually go on a brick ledge um, to keep the water from going in here. So he's gonna nail this. Uh, actually it's a remodel, so he's gotta take the siding off. They didn't do that the first time. Uh, the other people that did these renovations, they didn't put the proper flash in, so it's leaking back and it's all the studs are getting rotten. So anyways, we're making him this flash in. So this is gonna nail, he's gonna take the siding off and then he's gonna <clears throat> nail this to the deck. It's gonna be up a little bit, as you can see here. It's got a little bit of an angle, so he's gonna raise this up to make it level and then that way the water will slope off. It won't gather there. So he'll nail that to the wall and what he needs to do, he's gonna have to turn this corner here. So this, uh, it's just gonna go across the front, across the front and then it's gonna turn back. So this corner here is gonna be the one that's turning back. So we're gonna cut a miter in this one here. And then the other one are actually, actually already cut, but that one's not a big deal. But this one is gonna be the one that has the tabs on it. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. And that way it'll wrap the corner with the tabs. So stay tuned and I'll show you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure in one inch here, and then we're gonna draw our miter and we're gonna leave a one inch tab all the way here so we can fold this part over. And then the back part, we're gonna leave a one inch tab as well so we can fold that part over as well. So what we'll do is we'll get our, actually get our scale rule. We'll go ahead and mark us an inch right there, just a little bit. And then actually I'm gonna use a pencil because I don't wanna scratch this part here. Grab a pencil real quick. Okay, so I decided to use a pencil. I didn't want to scratch the paint uh, with that scribe, so I'm going to use a pencil on here. I'm going to draw it. I went ahead and measured in that one inch, and we're going to draw us a 45 going back to that spot there. Oops. There. Then we're going to come down here and, and mark it straight down. <clears throat> And I need to finish this line off here because it's not quite, the speed square is not quite long enough. I'll finish this in here. I'm going to go ahead and trace that up this way, vertically. Can you see that, OJ? Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and trace this up here like this. And then we're just going to measure, it doesn't have to, it, it, it could be whatever, but we'll just measure about an inch this way. And then we'll measure, <clears throat> actually, let me do a little bit more just mainly because this little gap here is gonna to be too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see here. Like this. <laughs> we'll go ahead and try and just kind of trace this over this way just so he has enough of a tunnel to cover. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cut this here. I'm gonna cut this off. And this cut doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'll go ahead and cut this one here on this side. Oops. And then what I'm gonna do is mark a straight line <clears throat> on this side. Here from that one inch mark, I'm gonna mark a straight line this way. So that way I can trim that part off there and I'll show you. I'm going to cut off, but I'm going to cut a little bit more than that angle there. So can you see that, OJ? Come around this other side. See how it's off the line a little bit? Cut just a little bit more so it doesn't butt on the other piece when we put it together. I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to cut this tab off. About right there, we're going to cut it off of that line a little bit down. But we're going to still meet at our, at our corner there. Cut it right there. And then we're gonna cut off this drip edge here. I'm gonna cut it at an angle again. I'm gonna start up a little bit high. Then we're gonna wind up on our point right there. And then we're gonna cut this tab off right here. Just cut this one square. Okay. Pause that again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this back here, but we're going to leave this part flat. We're going to bend this tab on our line backwards. So it's going to be an outside corner. So we'll cut it here. We're just going to cut a little bit of a wedge. 
Cut that right there. And cut this right. Like that. Then we'll get our duckbill pliers. And we'll grab this. Oh, I'm gonna cut it a little bit more. Those won't fit all the way in there. <clears throat> all right, so now it should fit. We'll grab it right there on the line. Then we'll bend it backwards like this. We'll over break it a little bit and then we'll spring it back just a little, you know, back to where it needs to be. So that way you can get a little bit of a, this line will come out a little more crisp. And then the same on this one here, we're gonna get this tab here and then we'll fold it in and we'll go a little bit further and then we'll bring it back out. And then that's it right there. So now, basically what we did was we measured an inch in and then from this corner on our metal, this corner to this back corner is eight and three eighths. So if you wanted to, instead of using the square to make that angle, you could have measured from our one inch mark up here, eight and three eighths of an inch there, and then just connect these two lines that would have given you your 45. So stay tuned. We're gonna mock it up on the floor and show you what the miter looks like. Okay, so here's the finished products. This is the one that I cut off camera pretty basic just just went from the corner of the metal or the end of the metal corner there and then measured back on a 45 and then cut it off and that's pretty basic but this was the one i just showed you with the tabs and then once you put them together it might be a little might need a little adjustment on the job but basically that's kind of the finished product there to wrap the corner got a little bit of a slope here so the water can run down on both sides and then you just need to uh caulk it underneath there and fasten it through here and maybe put a fastener through the front here. Should be good to go. All right, so that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna go ahead and shrink wrap this stuff up. Uh, the client's gonna come pick it up here in a little while. But um, if you like this video, please give us a, a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And if you can, share it with your friends and family. We'll see you next time back here at the 509.